Hello and welcome to my Funko Pop collection update video thing. There are two videos that I've already shot which are Funko Collection 1 and 2 and they, I don't know what the little flourish of the hand was for but they're in the description if you haven't seen the rest of my collection. This is the updated stuff and you may be thinking that's a lot of Funkos and I would say, well no there's no justification is there? That <laughs> it is. Let's start with the Disney ones and first up we have the Queen and King from Alice in Wonderland Love how cute he is. Look how tiny little King he is compared to her. Then we have The Cheshire Cat who I just love the look of Moving on to my favorite Disney film Beauty and the Beast. We have the Enchantress Which is a exclusive from a convention very heavy Funko Pop then we have the wardrobe. Love, 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 love. Very great pop. Again, really heavy. Lumiere. Brilliant. And Cogsworth. Look how cute Cogsworth is. I think he's one of my favourite Funko Pops. He's adorable. One of my favourite meet and greets in Disney World was meeting Snow White. Like, I was tearing up even in the line because the people stood near us. For like working me into a frenzy, like you're gonna meet Snow White, you're gonna meet Snow White. Um, and I'd always wanted to meet her, and I, I just love Snow White because it's the first Disney film I ever saw. And um, yeah, this is the 80th anniversary, she's got a little bird with her. More of a modern princess, Tiana and Naveen. Absolutely love Tiana. Anyone who's seen the Disney vlogs with my friend Adam knows that I absolutely love Tiana and she's one of my favourite meet and greets. Moving on to Pinocchio, we have Geppetto. My first ever chase, and it's in a special case, uh, Blue Fairy. I only have two chases. Um, a chase Funko Pop, for those of you that don't know, is like a one in six chance or something. So when you order one, you don't know if you're gonna get it, but when you do, it has this little sticker and it is a special, more rare one. We've got Jiminy Cricket, absolutely love him, adorable. Can't wait for the live action Pinocchio. Um, I already do have a Pinocchio. I don't know if it's the one on the box I have. No, it's not. The one I have is in my second video, I think, my second collection video. Um, and as I said, I'll put that link in the description. Merlin and Archimedes, amazing, so cute. Love Sword in the Stone, really, really cool. Um, Car and Mowgli from the Jungle Book, an exclusive at Very Nico, very, very nice. And then Lilo with Scrump, the um, the whole Lilo and Stitch fr franchise recently had its anniversary. I think it was 20 years, and yeah, I absolutely love her in this little outfit. You can also get her with the fish, um, which is Pudge. But um, I preferred this outfit. This is what I think of when I think of Lilo. So I really, really wanted it. And I have many a stitch, so she's in good company in my collection. Disney villains! And this one is massive. Maleficent is huge because she has like all this green magic around her. Let me show you. See, she is really, really big and I don't know if that comes off. It probably does. Oh, I think it does, actually. I am frightened. Uh, maybe it doesn't. Let's not risk it. I'm a big fan of Disney's Emperor's New Groove, and I finally have an Yzma and Kronk. So good. These are the little science ones, and they are convention exclusives. Again, some really great pops coming out of Funko. I love these so much. It's time for some Disney Pixar, and I have all three of the Luca characters. I have Luca. Look how cute he is. I have Alberto, Silencio Bruno, and Julia. So cute. I absolutely loved it. I, when I first when I first actually watched Luca, I did think it's good. It's a lovely film. But the more I thought about it, and I kept thinking about it, I just thought, what? What a really wonderful film. I love the animation. Like, there's a moment where their little feet are in the water and stuff, and it's like, oh, they're so cute. So I absolutely love these pops. 
and it just reminds me of the cuteness and wholesomeness of the film. But next up we have one of my favourite characters in Disney, the aliens! Like that is perfect. I had a toy of this as well many years ago that you squeeze his stomach and he glowed and he was like oh so this is a bit of a nostalgic one for me because it means that I have a mini version of the toy that I had so so lovely Marvel Funko Pops and I'm a big fan of Deadpool so I had to get at least one Deadpool in my collection and it is this artist one because I love to paint and draw and stuff like that so I thought this would be perfect and um, I was right I absolutely love him love Marvel's X-Men the animated series from back in the day and this is Rogue she's a black light she glows what more can you say like she is perfect I don't really get the black light ones anymore because Funko have been releasing so many of them but I really wanted the Rogue to go with my other Marvel characters big fan of Disney Marvel's WandaVision so I have Wanda Halloween really great Vision Halloween and my queen Agatha Harkness Woo -hoo! speaking of Halloween next is Danny with Finks from Disney's Hocus Pocus my favorite film of all time there isn't an Allison and there isn't a Max I've got Billy the zombie I've got two sets two triple sets of the witches themselves and this is just a great addition Minnie Mouse flying on a broom another little witchy poo very very nice and still a pumpkin stitch <laughs> look at him so so cute there is a Mickey version of this coming out this year and I will hopefully be able to get him as well to match we can't talk about seasonal holidays without covering my favorite festive season Christmas and I am as many of you know I am very big on the Christmas I even did a Christmas EP which is available on Spotify and all the different music websites so first up we have Freddy Funko who is the Funko mascot a very 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 welcome addition to my collection I have a few Freddies now and I think he's absolutely adorable with his little freckles two new peppermint lanes we have Bjorn Cranmore and Dorba Higgins, is that his name? Dorba? You may be wondering, what the hell are these? So, Peppermint Lane is Funko's own Christmas range. You can see on the back there that there are lots of different Christmas characters including Santa and Mrs Claus. I have all of these. <laughs> um, yep, I also have all, all of the houses. There's like these big Funko Pop, it's like a big Funko Pop village that they do. I have all of the houses as well. I, I just love Christmas. Disney Christmas and bizarrely my only Donald Duck Pop, which is shocking. But there you go. He is great. Eeyore and what does the sign say? It says, Dear Santa, I've been good. Better than most is crossed out, not as bad as some. Oh, <laughs> poor real. <laughs> but that is a very, very good pop. And then we have a Tigger. There was a Winnie the Pooh and Piglet from years ago, so they can join their little friends in my collection. Very, very cool. Ah, <sighs> amazing. Huge Spider-Man fan, Gingerbread Spider-Man. And yeah, I'm. I love Gingerbread absolutely love it i eat it all year round if i can and this is a great pop but it doesn't stop there for the gingerbreads oh no it's my one of my other favorite marvel characters well these are my two favorites and then magneto from the x-men but these two and magneto but look at that how adorable is he but it doesn't stop there there is more gingerbread it's Gingerbread Mickey! <laughs> this is probably one of my favourite Funkos. I know I keep saying it, but he is so cute. Absolutely adorable. There is a Mini available as well. There is a Mini. Um, oh no, these are just the Christmas ones that I was talking about before when I was saying about Tigger and Eeyore. Um, and I have all of these ones as well. Of course I do. 
but it doesn't stop there for the Mickey Mouse stuff. As my favourite Disney character, it would be rude not to get some more Mickey Mouse Pops. So here is one with a little ice cream that my friend Brogan bought me. There is Pride Mickey. Very nice. St. Patrick's Day Mickey. You're probably wondering, hang on, does that mean he's got like every single season and, and special holiday? I probably have at this point, I don't know. I can't remember if I have a Halloween Mickey. I do have a Halloween Mickey. He's Vampire Mickey. So I do, I don't have a 4th of July one, but I don't know if they do a 4th of July, but yeah, St. Patrick's Day, very, very nice. Look how cute he is. Oh. And now, something special. The 50th anniversary, <laughs> including Castle, Cinderella Castle, Funko Pop. I'm gonna have to get this out to show you just how great it is. And here it is. Cinderella's 50th anniversary castle and a golden Mickey. So cool. So much detail. And it is heavy. And look how big it is. Well, you can see in, in, in reference to the Mickey, it is just stunning. But aside from that, I also have this Fill Our Magic Mickey, which is Disney's 50th anniversary. And do the park, do the park Funko stop there? No, they don't. I have England's It's a Small World. For those of you that don't know, I love It's a Small World. I love the look of it and all the little characters and the way it's designed. So it was really great that they've done this range. And I could get England, the little beef eater one. Time for some television pops. And one of my favourite shows of all time, The Boys by Amazon. As I said before, I did have another chase. I think this Starlight is my first ever chase. Uh, that's why she's in the plastic protector, because she is special. I, I watched the finale, series three finale last night, and wow, what a show. It's not for everyone. There's a lot of gore and sort of uncomfortable moments, but it is a great show. You just despise the villains so much. Everyone is so good in the show. So I had to get something to sort of commemorate the boys and I'm really happy with my starlight. By that same token, another weird show, <laughs> Black Mirror. This is Ashley 2, who was voiced by Miley Cyrus. I, I didn't know if there was anything else Black Mirror, but I saw this and I was like, I need to get it. I've seen all the Black Mirror episodes and I just thought she looked very cute and was a very nice representation. Star Trek, Spock, one of my favourite characters from Star Trek. I am a big lover of all things Star Trek. I grew up watching it and I'm sure I've seen all the films. The only time I've ever gone to the cinema on my own was to see Star Trek Beyond because I didn't know anyone else that wanted to go and see it. So, And I was so desperate to see it. John Wick and his dog. Uh, what can I say about John Wick? It's Keanu Reeves being absolutely incredible. And I went through a huge phase of out, like just being in awe and loving Keanu Reeves. I, any magazine he was on, I think it was GQ and Esquire I bought and I ripped the covers off and put them, put them on the wall. Like I just absolutely loved him. And I think it started with the first Matrix, but yeah, John Wick is incredible. I can't wait for the next film. Big and <laughs> Tom Hanks. Classic. So much nostalgia for this film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't know if they're going to have it on the back. Yes, they do. They have the Zoltar machine, which he makes a wish on. You can actually get the Funko of that. I have seen it, but unfortunately it's quite tall and it wouldn't fit with my collection, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, I, I love this film. It's so nostalgic for me. Just even seeing him like that is just because he's in oversized clothes. The Goonies, one of my favourite films in the 80s growing up. This is Data, one of, the, one of the best characters ever in an 80s film. He was just hilarious. Let's take it now to some classiques from my childhood and some nostalgic pieces. This is Red and Doozer from Fraggle Rock, which was a TV show, all puppets. Well, was it all puppets? It pretty much was all puppets. The main characters were puppets and they were Jim Henson creations. I think the Fraggles has been renewed or is being brought back. So 
a new generation will get to enjoy them. I had the Teddy of Red. Um, my brother had Gobo, which is, which is the one to the left of Red, the Teddies. And yeah, it's so, it's just, just even seeing her like that is like, wow, it takes me back. Danger Mouse, a convention exclusive. Another great cartoon from back in the days. Gummy Bears. Disney's Gummy Bears. I didn't even know this was Disney until a couple of years ago. Zummy Gummy. The Wizard of the Gummy Bears. Wizard. I... I don't know what to say. This was everything. The Gummy Bears are little bears that live in the woods and they have this secret potion that they create. This... It's the same colour as Ribena. So as a kid, I would imagine drinking my Ribena, which I still drink to this day, still my favourite drink. And it's like a black currant drink, for those of you that don't know. And then they sort of bounce around and it allows them to be sort of like stronger than they are and faster than they are. And um, sounds, sounds weird, but hey, it was the 80s. <laughs> what do you expect? Tom and Jerry! I just, yeah, these don't need any explaining at all. I think most people grew up with Tom and Jerry, whether it was reruns or whether it was the original ones. Very, very cool. Bringing it up to date now with a modern classic, we have Wallace, Gromit, and Shaun the Sheep. I love the Ardman animation productions, and, you know, these these three are great. There can't be many people that don't think these are great, and I think it's really clever, the whole stop-motion process. Yeah, they're really, really good. You're probably thinking, what is that? Adam Bomb. If you grew up in the 80s, you know about the Garbage Pail Kids. They were collectible cards that came with a little chewing gum, and they were disgusting. Like, give, let me give you an example. So... There is Ga what's her name? Ghastly Ashley, Adam Bomb, Clark Kant, and Beastly Boyd. Now these are some of the more tame ones. Um uh, there is one that's covered in how can I say this? Snot. So, you know, these are more tame, but they were like these gross little things that kids thought were hilariously funny as they do. And this was, I think Adam Bomb was the very first card as well in the series. So this is quite a nice one to have. And finally, Pop Rocks. Let's talk music and divas. So we have Britney Spears in her toxic outfit. Um, oh, they don't have the other one on there. There are a couple of Britney Spears ones, but this I had to get. I just love this outfit. And I've always been a fan of her. I'm not a crazy fan of Britney. Like I haven't seen her live or anything. But I've always liked her. I have seen Whitney Houston live though. And this is well overdue. The fact that there is now a Whitney Houston How Will I Know. How will I know? Little pop. There, I just, yeah, she's going to sit perfectly alongside my Merry Christmas Mariah Carey. I have seen Whitney Houston live. I saw her live in the 90s. And I'll always remember when she sang I Will Always Love You. And she was sat down for the song on this little stool and she stopped just before the big note and everyone was like waiting with the anticipation and she stood up like she twirled, she was sat down she turned twirled the microphone like to build a bit of drama and everyone was like living for it knowing that she was about to go wild and then she stood up and just blasted it out and it just ripped straight through you like it was an incredible moment so this is a very special pop to me I have been a lifelong Whitney Houston fan, so finally, she's part of the collection. And now for the clean-up operation. This is the bit I always forget that I have to do. Damn you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.